wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Finally, we're working. Hello, everybody. This is the MX Drobe with our three-part Skyrim adventure. I'm here with Sean. And we have been anxiously attempting this. Um, this is attempt number three of our three-part Skyrim adventure. Um, we have been failing at recording. And basically, rant about childhood was ruined by girl, by playing our actions played by girls. Filming by our, my computer, Xbox, Sean brought over, TV that used to be mine, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we're good. Um, tell them the controls once again because we need to do that. Okay, the controls are just the simple Xbox controls. It'll teach you all of it in the beginning of the intro if you ever get the game. And that's really all you need to know. Alright. Um, 1 to 10 cannot be over 10. 1 to 10, 10. This game's amazing. Yeah, it is. I love these graphics. Why are the goats pushing me, you weirdo? Hello, goats. Die to fire! I'm going to freaking kill them here in a minute if they don't keep going. You're going to make them die to fire? No, I'm being sick of them now. And the good thing is, every time I kill them, the blood will go into my sword and it'll get stronger. Like, see? Is it covered with blood right now? No, it's not covered with blood. It used to be at 18, now it's at 20. It slowly is gain it slowly, slowly gains strength when you kill things. Right now, I'm actually on my... I don't know. It's one of the storyline quests that I waited to do for a long time. I'm actually 21, level 21 now. Yeah. When I should be doing this at, like, level 6. Yeah. But it's a quest to get up to High Hrothgar, which you'll encounter after you kill your first dragon. Which is kind of an easy thing. How many dragons have you killed? I've killed multiple dragons. John's already beat this game. So we're not going to be doing a storyline. We're just going to be showing you three parts. Um, each video about 15 minutes, I'd say. I'd say. That's a pretty good estimate. Or however long um, time will permit us. Uh, I've been having slips of the finger, and unfortunately, I've been stopping the video. I I really apologize for the lines across the screen, um, and smallness of the screen. Um, I've done this rant twice, three times. Yeah. Something like that. So, tell me what you guys think of this. Coming on my birthday, I want to have um a group of of, a group of my buddies. Um, Man, like like you remember how, la how last year we did um four swords. Yeah, with me, Kieran, and you. Yeah, I figured this year we do another game. Maybe Skyrim. Maybe Skyrim. Skyrim maybe. Skyrim would probably be the best because all the, you can comment on so many different things. In mm, you know, maybe another Xbox you know, game. Like we don't know. Um, any Xbox game you want, tell us. We'll let you know if we have it. Yeah, I'm kind of running short on my supply because, you know, I'm kind of running out of money on buying them. But, hey, maybe we'll another do it. Another bear. Maybe we'll do MW3 again. I sold that. You did? Yeah. Expletive here. Anyways, um, we're probably going to do Skyrim. Um, and I plan to have Guy, Julian, Kieran, and I plan to have Sean here with me. Um, Kieran, Andrew, and Guy, or, or, and, Sh or and Julian, maybe. Um, my mom won't let me have more than four people, but I'm going to beg and plead her so I can have everybody. Or everybody that can go. it's the whole gang that you've ever heard on his YouTube channel. Yeah, hopefully everybody. Yeah. But maybe some people might not be able to come, unfortunately. Right. Um, so, but I want to get everybody out here. But I want to do a, um, a Skyrim special. And on top of that, on my upcoming birthday, I'm going to have video vlogs. Um, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. I'll probably tell you how old I am in my vlogs. Right, but I'm going to do one weekly. One weekly. I can't do one daily. I have a very busy schedule. Let's Hard to say he was born in some year, sometime, someday. Yeah, but it's October, so watch for it. Um, and I have a very busy schedule, contrary to popular belief. I have Boy Scout stuff. I have school, which is coming up in September. So you guys probably don't see my enemies that I can see, but I have like I'm paying attention, so I have a few things I gotta take out. You're probably not gonna see until it gets closer. But there's actually a troll up on the mountain over here. So yeah, I've really discussed all I need to discuss on film, so we can get right to game commentary. Yeah. I have multiple weapons I can use. I'm trying to use my ebony blade the most because, as I said, it gets stronger as I kill things. And it, quite frankly, sucks the life out of your enemies. So that's, that's what it says. There he is. Can you guys see him yet? He's right there. I shot him once with an arrow, but he heals. <laughs> Cut his leg off. 
hurt his self-esteem. Make him feel bad. Well, that's one thing about this game. You really don't cut them all legs off. Even though you stab and cut them, the blood only usually shows up when you repetitively slice at them or cut them. Oh, yeah, I haven't showed you guys my teammate since we've had the technical difficulties. His name is Gorbash. He's a work that I found at one of the camps that you can find. Show them you. Show them you. Oh, me and him kind of match. We're and then take your helmet off so you, they can see you're both off. wearing elven armor. I'm actually a Khajiit. You can probably see my tail down there. But hey, that reminds me of Khajiit, that one, um, that one new pet. I guess. But here, let me take off my helmet. This is actually a dragon priest mask. That's one of my things I'm trying to do in this game, is trying to get all the masks from the dragon priests. I have t I have two so far. One of them's actually on my teammate. Here's a kitty. I'm a Khajiit. I'm the, I like stealth. It's a stealthy class. I prefer it. It's fast, easy. It's definitely not for starters. If you're gonna play as, you, when you first start this game, you might want to make a red guard, an imperial, or a nord. But when you go, when you start playing the game, you get a feel to it. You can go into the more difficult races. They're not all. They're not really difficult. Some of them have better things than others. Like dark elves have the way to resist poison or fire. I think I don't know. The elves. There's mo there's three different races of elves in this game. There's wood elves, high elves, and dark elves. And then there's the Bretons and the Argonians. And then there's the Khajiits. The Khajiits I like for like thieves and assassins, which I might be joining the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know exactly. I don't know what I want to do. I can become a werewolf if I continue my quest in the companions group. You're a werewolf cat. I could be. That's so like climatic. Kind of ironic. It is. The cat becoming a werewolf. Yeah, it is. Brought to you by Sundrop. Have not done that in a while. Yeah. Man, that feels good. Well, we used to be brought to by, brought to you by Cheez Its and A and W Diet. But, here. You know. We hey hey, there's a can of it right here actually. Yeah, Matt's been drinking. I've been drinking Sundrop. And I've been drinking some Sundrop too. Don't put me down. Oh, so apparently it's Sundrop cans say t celebrating 20 years of dreams. There's a basketball player on it. No clue what that means. Sean, read it. Scotty Pippen. I'm guessing he is part of the Dream Team. Or on Team USA. No, it's the Dream Team. Why is that te Team USA on the shirt? Well, it says Dream Team right here. Yeah, the Dream Team. Team yeah, USA. Dream team, oh, team I USA. I do not think that, that basketball should be an Olympic sport. Think about it. You're supposed to be amateur, right? Yeah. Basketball is all the pros. You have LeBron James. You have all our pros. That's what the dream team is. It's all the best put into one group. We have professional people. It's supposed to be amateur. We also have amateur people. They have, we have professional swimmers. What about Michael Phelps? He came back. He's in the Olympics again. He became professional through the Olympics. He's professional. He has won more Olympic gold medals than anyone ever. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Any swimming medals. He hasn't no, really done anything. No, no. He's won more medals than anyone ever. More gold medals than everyone ever. But they're all swimming gold medals. No. He didn't compete. Okay, so apparently... Apparently, mm, I heard from my. Sorry. No, no, not that. I'm just. You can keep talking. I have to go through stupid. I heard apparently this dude, na this country named Granada, I think Granada, Granada, um, has never won a medal, and this year they won a gold medal. And uh, I think it was um, track and field. Track and field. Isn't that pretty sweet? Yeah. A country that's never won a medal ever in any Olympics finally won something. Wow. I think it's pretty sweet. Go Granada! Sorry. See, the thing about USA is, I'm not trying to say this to be mean, this isn't how I feel, but I've heard people say that I love team, team USA, screw any other country. And there are some pretty impressive people in other countries. Pretty sweet people who have done awesome things. You know, I saw this one lady, like, like stand on top of the um, pole in gymnastics and then bounce off it with her back belly flop on top of it, flip around without even touching it, and I do a bunch of flips in expletive here, and so yeah, and she was from Canada, Canada, how do you pronounce it, so she was pretty awesome, she changed the Olympics, and I thought that was pretty awesome, don't you, yes, I watch it, gymnastics, it's just because my parents watch it, my parents watch it, I watch it, so yeah, um, sorry I haven't been filming, I've had a busy schedule. Um, this last week I was actually in New York on personal business. Personal business, that is extremely personal, I cannot say why. But I got, um, I'll tell you later. Um, I actually got to go to the Lego store out in, um, uh, in, um, Fairport, New no, Rochester, New York. 
um, cause that's where I have some family out there. Um, I thought that's, I, I had a lot of fun there. I got to go to the Lego store, I got to stay at my aunt's house. I got to go to a lot of awesome restaurants, including this really awesome place called Salvatore's Pizza. Ever out in, in Rochester, New York, go there. That place is fantastic. It's yummy. Best pizza you'll ever have. Uh, yeah, I got to have some really enjoyable time there. Um, you been, you been anywhere this summer? Not really. Home, uh, mainly. I've been to my dad's, but he only lives in Clinton. No, like, like anywhere else, like anywhere in the Anywhere else in the state? The country. Not really. Yeah, it was an eight hour drive. It was pretty brutal. This summer wasn't as fun as last summer. Last summer I went to Vegas. Nice. Other places. Master I not. It's I not, I think. I not what? I not what? Improper grammar. Oh, that dude was exploding! No. That dude was exploding! Did he like implode? Did he like suck the life out of you? What did he do? Gave me his knowledge of a word. Power of flame in my breast. <laughs> Unamounting force shout. What's that do? What's that do? Eat the tab. Who's brew? Who's brew? He's looking at him. He's just like, oh, I can't do that. This is your job. What's he look like under the mask? Looks like an orc. Okay. Yeah, orc, 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 orc. Fine. Let's trade then. Okay, let me take his mask off really fast if I can find it. He has a whole bunch of stuff that I gave him. There it is. This is the other mask I have. It allows you to prices are better, carry 20 more, and can breathe underwater. Oh man, take off the elven helmet. Never mind. It's gonna take too long. He has so many different helmets with him right now because of what I gave him. There's gonna really be no point after all of it. Uh, so I lost the mask. Oh, wait, I took it. That's why. We have about three minutes left, Sean. Three minutes, darn. Well, you guys will see the next part later. We're still going to be filming right now. That's yeah, three minutes. Next oh, yeah. oh, I got to demonstrate it one more time. Say, so hurry up. You might be able to see it. And then I'm going to go outside, learn one more shout. And then I'm going to send me We probably won't have time. Yeah, we're probably, um... Well, and you before guys will probably see it when I go to the dungeon. Because that's where... That's probably going to be. The dude stumbled. Stumbly. His name was Stumbly. I named the Stumbly. Stumbly, what you doing? Stumbly. Stumbly. Who's Master Boy? These dudes scare me. They look. They, they they have beards and their beards are like they they're identical except for their beards and their beards are varying lengths. They do. There's a short beard, there's a long beard, there's a beard that's in but the brain. But this, th this game is really beautiful. Um, 1 to 10, I'd probably say 10. You guys really can't see it, but you can kind of see all the details on the rocks. Yeah, they can see it. Symbols. They can see it, there's only a, a little bit of a glare in the um, in the bottom right. Um, like like right when you see a flash of light, there's a bit of an error. So, though, there's even symbols on the doors that look cool. This is a lot better than when I found the MW3. Oh my gosh, MW3 was horrible. But then again, it was a small TV with a big light above us. Yeah, that was fun. This, See, we well, have a big this, light. This, this explains it. Just look at the environment. Well, it's not very scenery here. Temple. Look at that mountain. Look at that mountain. Look at the mountain. There's the mountain. Wow. In fact, later on, I'll be climbing up that mountain through that. We got about a minute left. Okay, guys, you're about to see something really fast. Um, if he hurries up and teaches me this word, hurry. Talking. I really can't hurt that make it. We can go a couple seconds over if we need. We're gonna probably go a little bit over so you guys can actually see the rest of the stuff. You must hear the word within yourself. I don't care, just let me learn the word. I hear it already, you're telling me. Right? Now the uh pick mew. Dumb. Implode! Spontaneous combustion in the snow! Spontaneous combustion in the snow. Okay, I gotta demonstrate my whirlwind shout. This is perfect timing. That means. Whatever the ex. No, we're, instead of spring, we said expletive here. Expletive. You guys about to see the little bit that I can show you? Dude, this is perfect timing. You have to do it. You have to do it now. Hurry up! I can't do it now. They gotta open the gate. And the guy's gonna run through, and I'm gonna fall on through. You can go a couple seconds over. 
We're at 50, we're at 1456. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're gonna go. You see that? You see that? I can go further. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I'm ready, I'm ready to stop it. Alrighty. Whirlwind sprint. See you guys later. Bye. You guys will see us in the dungeon.